You will be surrounded by lush vegetation if you live in Africa in the southern part of the continent. Rainforests and jungles are typical. However, in the northern part of the African continent, you have a completely different environment and climate. An area that has been destroyed and turned into a desert. But won't you believe there was once covered with water? Yes! And while researching in the Sahara, scientists have found things which can shock you, but are those? In today's video, this is exactly what we're going to cover. Sahara Desert When most people imagine a typical desert landscape, with endless sun, turbulent sands, and hidden oases, they often think of the Sahara. But 11,000 years ago, what we know today as the world's largest hot desert would have been unrecognizable. The now arid northern strip of Africa was once green and vibrant, dotted with lakes, rivers, meadows, and even forests. But what has changed so drastically? The answer to this question goes back thousands of years, sometime between 4,500 and 8,000 years ago. Reason for Sahara becoming desert. According to archaeologist David Wright Humans and their goats were the catalysts, driving this dramatic ecological transformation. In a new study in the journal Frontiers in Earth Science, Wright argues that humans could be the answer to questions that have been plaguing archaeologists and paleoecologists for years. The Sahara has long experienced intermittent wet and dry periods. These variations are caused by slight variations in the axial tilt of Earth's orbit, changing the angle at which solar radiation enters the atmosphere. During the West African monsoon season, more energy was poured from the sun at repeated intervals throughout Earth's history. During this time, known as the African monsoons, more rain fell in North Africa. With more rain, the area gets more greenery in rivers and lakes. All this has been known for decades. But something strange happened between 8,000 and 4,500 years ago. The switch from wet to dry environments occurred in some areas much faster than orbital precession alone can be explained, resulting in the Sahara Desert as we know it today. But what have scientists found in the vast desert? Four-legged whales fossil Recently, a 43-million-year-old prehistoric whale fossil with four legs and incredibly sharp teeth has been found in the Egyptian desert. Named after Anubis, the god of death, this previously unknown amphibian species is about one meter long and has impressive jaws that suggest a raptor-like feeding style. Scientists officially named this species Phyomacetus anubis, a reference to Anubis, the ancient Egyptian wolf-headed god who escorted the dead pharaohs to the afterlife. The partial skeleton was found in the Fayum Depression in the western desert of Egypt, which is part of the Sahara. Once covered by the sea, this UNESCO World Heritage Site is known as the Whale's Valley because of the many marine mammal fossils. According to the research team, this species most likely lived on land and in the ocean during the Middle Eocene. Whales were once deer-like, herbivorous land mammals for about 10 million years before evolving into predatory creatures of the ocean depths. Weighing around 1,300 pounds, Phyomacetus anubis looked like a large dog with powerful lower jaws and sharp teeth, but it also had webbed feet that allowed it to track prey both on land and at sea. Scientists use these discoveries to reconstruct the evolution of whales, which are believed to have appeared about 50 million years ago, Eye of Sahara. For thousands of years, the Eye of the Sahara was hidden from all eyes. This is because these large and mysterious geological formations are barely visible from the ground while walking on Earth. It turns out we didn't find this great bull in the sand until we started sending humans into space. But even now that we discovered it, scientists don't fully understand it. Scientists still question the eye of the Sahara, but two geologists have a working theory about its origin. They believe the eye formation began more than 100 million years ago, when the supercontinent Pangaea was torn apart by plate tectonics, tearing modern Africa and South America apart. Molten rock is pushed up to the surface but doesn't reach the bottom, forming an enormous pickaxe-like dome of strata. This also creates a fault line that encircles and crosses the eye. The molten rock also dissolved the limestone near the center of the eye, which collapsed and formed a particular type of rock called breccia. A little later, 100 million years ago, the eye erupted violently. This partially collapsed the bubble, and erosion did the rest of the work to create the eye of the Sahara we know today. 
The rings are made up of different types of rock, which erode at different rates. The lighter circle near the center of the eye is a volcanic rock formed during this explosion. What do you think about this video? Share your thoughts in the comments, like this video, and subscribe our channel for more amazing videos like this. Thanks for watching.